two in this war. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Good evening, Miss Ashworth. And good evening. Good. She's been. Who else is around here that I can talk to? Top hat guy. You get over here. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Doctor... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. Are you that blind? I've seen hundreds of victims piled up in this city each week. Mr. Reed, please. Why are you so angry? I did not mean anything by it. Eh, who cares? This guy's an asshole. What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. I must confess, I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please, share the address. Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids, and all the random violence. Please, sir, this is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. Wow. So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. London's lone gourmet? What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell.
Thing out of here. this way. <clears throat> Best turn around if I were you. See them fancy clothes? Ah. Ah. Open it! Ah. This ah. way ah. 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 Murdering ah. bastard!
It's locked. A restaurant where the guests are blindfolded before being seated. Intriguing. up a random shotgun. That's cool. That's something going to be over here. I guess it's just leading this way. Dumb to use that one so early. I need someone who can read this. Except I killed them. Or they're already dead. Because I killed everyone in their, uh... In their neighborhood. Eh. I 
let's you know go this way. See what's over here. A lot of those tips are <laughs> yeah, very fitting for current events. It's locked. What is over here? Hmm. Maybe not right now. Let's just go talk to people. fast. <sighs> We're safe for both you This isn't the town yet. Is it? Now it is. Okay, that was weird. Just walk over there a little more and I can pull my weapon out. Evening, Doctor. Do you need medical help? You would save my life, Doctor. Don't worry. I cannot imagine. Goodbye, Mr. Rupp. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Johnny, don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. 
In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. I think he's going to be a vampire at some point, too. If he's not already. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Mm, I forgot to check his, uh... Yeah, let's just heal him. Good evening. I won't... Do you need me- It's a little... What can I say? I hope we do. You need some. There we go. There's the Ascalon Club. But I want to see who else is around here first. Alright, talk to you. There's someone else here. Wait, this is my place? There. Or is that an enemy? Yeah, it looks like an enemy. Yeah. It's five shillings. Yep. Hi there. I always hoped that I would hear children play in this house before I died. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. 
Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. Why would I? It doesn't seem very nice. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July after she lost her baby and husband. So I stayed to serve both her and your mother. Should have known that, known that before. <clears throat> and that's why she's dead, is because I couldn't save her during that boss fight with the sister. How was Mary? Miss Mary went out looking for you every night after you had written to say that you were coming back. She was sure you were alive. She'll never know she was right. How was my mother? Miss Reed was very frail. After Miss Mary was found dead, your mother started talking to herself. She said she was speaking to the dead. She even said that she had seen you. What are the arrangements for my mother's funeral? There will be no funeral, sir. No ceremony whatsoever because of the sanitary situation. Where is her body, then? I'm afraid your mother's body was moved to a mass grave somewhere. I have no other information. Civil service is paralyzed, sir. And London is crumbling down. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Do you really think I neglected my mother, Avery? Yes. I see. Well, please go on, speak freely. It's not as if there is anything left to treasure 
in this house. Just like your father. You always had this capacity to focus only on what interests you. It surely helped you become a great doctor, but not such a great son. Thank you, Avery. We'll talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. I always hoped that I would... Yes, sir. And do you need med... I won't refuse... Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Avery. Your bedroom is... I always hoped that I would hear... Let's guess that is going to be a hideout. touch it's probably the sister's room <clears throat> wait it's locked all right That's a balcony. I can get across into that room there. It's locked. <laughs> oh wow, it's more than five. <laughs> Can I even open this door? No. Oh, that's kind of rude. Just go into what looks like to be his room as he's sitting there crying. <laughs> then he gets up and leaves. As I'm just looting all of this stuff. I remember Sunday walks in the park. Yeah. 
Nicely detailed interiors in this game, though. There's a, lot, a few people in here. She's gone. I have not met her. Yeah, there's still quite a few people here. I'm sure Kaloon Russell has no interest in such a conventional menu. Blindfolded thing. He'll probably like that. Yeah. Oh, what? What is this? Besides a long load time. here. That blood's not glowing, though. I cannot enter.
Okay. Let's see if I can just get back over here. That was the door that was locked from the, the one boss fight. And that door over there leads to that... fell down there and fought him. Seen well, except for it's locked. Except for that, it doesn't seem like there's any other place to go. There's also nothing to fight down here. Is that going in, or a warning for going in, or a warning for leaving? It's locked, all right. There's someone new. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Mm -hmm. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. What happened to you? The rats! The answer hides in their little crunchy bones, their juicy, tiny. 
tiny brains. Miss Billow, please, try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes. Please. Help. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor. Looks a bit like a vampire. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was strong, proud. I campaigned for good causes, but that was before, before. It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. What is the local news hereabouts, Miss Billow? Shadows. Shadows hunting shadows. Whispers in the dark. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. Bit crazy. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. Mm. Forgive me. With the epidemic, I tend to forget people are supposed to sleep at night. I'll tell you what. Come back tomorrow for tea. I'll be glad to see you then. Still don't know how to get higher mesmerize.
that all that's over here? No. guy doing with them. been here before. Yeah, I have. I don't know if I've been over here. I must have. Five more good handle parts. Stamina it would be diminishing returns each time. It's only ten percent. That's three off, then this would be like two off. And that would also be two off, unless they round it up.
and I can take them out fairly easily. I cannot enter. going on over here. Sure, why not? else over there. between attacks in this game. Oh 
not necessarily guard, I mean like a, a deflect. that that I was looking at. It was this window here, right? Yeah, well, how did I miss that? feeling that was going to happen. What I don't get is that it wasn't doing that before. I did get a new external hard drive since the last time I played this. Maybe it's not as fast as my old one.
Good evening, Dr. Ruhi. I have found a restaurant that could satisfy you, Mr. Russell. The most intriguing and exotic restaurant in London. Really? You have piqued my interest. Where is it? It's a place where you eat in complete darkness and try to identify your meal without anything but your palate. My, oh my, how interesting. It could even be fun to eat a little poisson et fruit that way. Oh, oh thank you, Dr. Reed. Please, have this for your research. Goodbye, Mr. Actually, what, you might have something Rudy. I want. I may have a look at your... Talk to them first. 